For the 90-90 pails and rails, I'm going to start seated with my legs at 90 degrees. So this leg is at 90 degrees here, back leg is at 90 degrees here. The front shin and that back knee should be parallel to each other. Um, a lot of times this knee can't quite get to the ground just from some hip tightness, so a lot of times it helps to put something under this knee because we need this knee to push into something. So if it can't quite get to the ground, we need something there for it to push into. We're gonna start with this front hip first. So I want you to feel like you rotate your belly button over this knee and get a little lean forward with your body. You can rest your hands here. I want a long line through the spine so it's not collapsed down through your body this way. Stay nice and tall, but you should feel stretch the outside of that hip, maybe a little bit through the inside as well. Um, and from there, once we find that stretch, I want you to push down with this knee into that block as hard as you can. And then after you do that, we're gonna reverse it and I want you to feel like you're trying to lift this whole shin and especially this ankle off the ground as you pull your belly button down towards the ground a little bit more. So we're actively pulling ourselves deeper into this stretch. This is gonna be your new starting position and we're trying to strengthen up around that end range stretch here. So we're gonna push down again, push down as hard as you can, you feel a lot through the outside of that hip when you push down. And then we're lift up with this shin and this ankle like you're trying to lift to the sky as you pull your belly button deeper into that stretch. Again, push down hard as you can, pull yourself deeper. So each time we're starting from a little bit deeper position here. After you do the front leg, we're gonna do the same thing on the back leg. So rotate towards this back leg. Um, again, this should be at 90 degrees here. You can support yourself here. You can have both hands off to the side. It doesn't entirely matter. Um, just someplace that you're in a good, comfortable position. The closer you are to this leg, the harder it's gonna be. And eventually, if you can go hands-free, that makes it even a little bit more challenging. But we wanna complete it successfully first, and then we can challenge it more down the road if we need to. Um, so, same rule applies here. You're gonna push this shin down through the ground as hard as you can, like you're trying to make a dent through the ground. And then I want you to feel like you're trying to pull this ankle and foot off the ground as you side bend the shoulder down towards the ankle. As you do that, you'll get a little side crunch sensation. You might get a little cramping through this hip, that's okay. That's just telling us we don't have a lot of control in this range of motion, that's what we're trying to do with this exercise, is build more control at the end ranges of these hips. So push down through this shin again, Pull that ankle and foot off the ground as you side bend down towards it. I'll do that one more time. Push down and pull up. And then we'll switch and do the same thing on the other side with the right leg forward and left leg back. 